fall. Air shows and museums. Not the only places you can find some of the vintage fighters and bombers of World War II. Like anything old, they wear out, some crash. Galen Culver went out to Wiley Post Airport Saturday afternoon to catch a glimpse of a rare warbird stationed there, and he caught a flight, too. Top gun. It was never an ordinary airplane. This was a whole different generation of bomber than a B-17, B-25, or B-24. The A-26 Invader was built to kill German convoys with bombs and heavy guns. You had 650 caliber machine guns in the nose. You had four under each wing. It was fast. 2,000 horsepower per side here. Curtis Foote, who works on this plane and gives tours at air shows, says there's a reason the Air Force kept the A-26 and later the B-26 flying through Korea and Vietnam, too. Oh. There is safety and speed. Yeah. Uh, it'll just get up and go. This one even took some shrapnel at the end of World War II. The patches are still there. Well, that's a bullet hole. We can grab here. Left it was left. a corporate plane and a forest firefighter. It passed to this crew at Wiley Post in 1999, where David Huffman can still sit in the pilot's seat and fly it. To go have fun, it's about my favorite airplane to fly. Of the thousands built, fewer than 150 are still on the registry. Fewer than a half dozen can still fly like Lady Liberty. The commemorative Air Force in Texas owns her. A staff of volunteers keeps her in the air for shows and demonstrations like this. Every one of its crew, most of them former military, insists that only flying do spectators get a clear sense of the power this airplane commanded. To an extent, this is checked out like a library book for us to operate it and show it to the public, to show it all. You know, I, this is a neat piece of history. Huffman and crew say it takes around 24 maintenance hours to fly for one. The fuel is expensive, so are aging parts. But they keep her airworthy because of the history she represents. World War II, Korea, Vietnam, so fast, so lethal, so important. To them, the roar of American air supremacy never sounded so good. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? Man, that is a strong old plane. The Lady Liberty A-26B is the oldest invader still flying and in high demand at air shows around the country. She and her crew rely on the money they get from those shows and donations, too, to keep her airworthy.